Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Christy and welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited that you stopped by today because I have made a King Ranch casserole. Yes, this is so, so delicious. It is hearty, it is comforting, it is cheesy. I can go on and on. But first, let me just show you how I made it. So stick around and hang with me. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step because you know what time it is. It is time to get cooking. I'm boiling two pounds of frozen chicken tenderloins. Place my chicken into my mixing bowl. And I'm also going to remove the little tendon just because these can be rubbery and tough. And you'll see these mainly on the chicken tenderloins and they're easy just to pop off. All right, so I'm about to show you why I put it in my mixer. It's because it shreds the chicken awesome. You just blend it up and it shreds it beautifully. Just like that. So I have two cans of cream of chicken soup. Now you can use one can of cream and chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom, um, or you can just use all cream of mushroom, whichever you prefer. And then one can of the Rotel with diced tomatoes and green chilies. All right, so I have a ranch salad dressing seasoning mix and I'm going to use one tablespoon. I like to keep this stuff on hand. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of my homemade taco seasoning, which I have a shorts video that shows you just how to make my taco seasoning. So one tablespoon of my taco seasoning. All right, then give it a mix. All right, so to a small skillet, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add about a half of a cup each of diced uh, onion and diced green bell pepper. And I just want to Cook these until they become a little tender. I also have about a half of a cup of frozen corn. So you can use canned corn if you want. All right, so I'm going to add my peppers and onions and corn. And give it another mix. All right, so my chicken mixture is in my mixing bowl here. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grate a block of Colby Jack cheese. Now you can use cheddar, any cheese that you really want. Um, pepper Jack would also be really good. But I'm gonna grate it. So now that my cheese is all grated, I've got my chicken mixture mixed in my mixing bowl. I'm going to start to layer in between some flour tortillas. Now you can use corn tortillas, especially if you are um, looking for a gluten-free option. You can even use the crumbs, like the tortilla chip crumbs in the bottom of the bag. If you save those, or even Doritos, yeah, Fritos, anything like that, you can layer using those as well. But I'm using the flour tortillas today. And I'm just gonna use a nine by 13 pan. I have lightly greased it, and I'm just gonna layer these tortillas in the bottom. All right, I'm gonna put half of this chicken Spread it out. I'm 
And I'm going to sprinkle half of this cheese. More tortillas. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and covered. All right, so now I'm going to pour the rest of this chicken mixture on top. All right, spread it out. And then sprinkle with the rest of that cheese. I'm not satisfied with the amount of cheese, so I'm going to add a little bit of this mild cheddar on top. All right, so I'm going to cover this and I'm going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, I'm excited to eat this. But first, you guys have got to come check it out. It is so cheesy, full of flavor. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless. And as always, I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.